Hi, I'm going to show you a, a color fill process. I've been doing a lot of color filling. I got a job where I had to do 15 items and a lot of color filling and they wanted gold and they wanted a metallic gold. I found this paint at Hobby Lobby and what I haven't tried this yet but I'm going to try it tonight. I actually think that you don't have to put any uh, sealant on the wood first because all the gold that dripped off the side I actually sanded right off so I'm going to try this tonight for the video and it's a, uh, a gold paint is metallic and it doesn't really mix up but they make probably a hundred different colors and I'm using a pipette uh, I call it a disposable eyedropper and I'm just going to instead of painting it because I, I went really really deep I'm just going to fill it in with the uh, pipette. Now I'm actually going to do all the letters but I'm going to try something different because on my I did on mine I filled mine with shellac because uh, I did a lot of work and I just didn't want to take the chance but it, it sanded off so well I thought you know what I don't think it's going to need the uh, coating and this I found works a lot better than the brush. First of all this paint and it might just be the gold being metallic uh, doesn't mix up well it's uh, I can see some different shades of gold in there, but I'm going to try something. So we'll get that out of the way. Put the lid on there so I won't spill it. And then I just, I've had this for a long time, it's a caulk squeezer. And I'm going to try squeezing out, like, like doing it like this, and then that way the, the oil in this paint evidently floats to the top and it takes all the oil away. So I'm going to purposely not do this one and I'm going to see the difference in the morning when I let this dry but I just you know take it's like a squeegee and uh, then you can get your excess off and I'm going to stop the video now and show you the process when I sand it. That's the first part of this video and this is the paint I've used and I just noticed tonight, or this afternoon when I was editing these pictures, that the it's actually a paint for glass. I needed to color fill that in with gold, and they wanted a metallic gold. And I went to Hobby Lobby and bought three different kinds of paint, and because this looked pretty good, and I used all three of them on a test, and this was by far the best paint. Anyway, the the reason for this video, and if you haven't seen my other video on Doug Green, you can just type in Doug Green Corel Draw Paint Field. I would normally put on a shellac, uh, after I engrave it, I would normally put on a shellac to seal the wood so the paint would not get down in the grains of the wood. And I had to do 15 items with a lot of engraving on them and, and a lot of paint filling. So I thought, you know, some, some dripped off the edges and it sanded off that I didn't seal. I thought, I'm going to try a test with it and uh, see if you can stick, skip that step of putting the shellac on. And as you can see, it, it worked pretty good. And if you watch the other part of the video, uh, this part is the part I squeegeed off. And it actually looks better than the other part. And I think it's a little cleaner, a little more uniform. And then, as always, I didn't know what kind of paint it was uh, and how it was going to be affected with the finish that I normally put on items. And this is a what coat Danish oil. It's a natural because you leave it on for 30 minutes, wipe it off, put another coat on. And if you watch my other videos, you'll learn about that too. It's a really good product. To me, it's the best product to finish stuff with. It still feels like wood. It'll protect the wood. And... It doesn't, I call it plasticizing the wood where it feels like plastic. But anyway, you can get this at Hobby Lobby. And I just noticed tonight when I zoomed in here that it's it's a paint for glass. But they make, you know, this is number 38 and they made like three or four different colors of gold. So I know they probably have every color of the rainbow. And I actually 
you know, searched it to find out what it really was, and it's for stained glass type stuff. And it's it's actually sold at uh, Amazon, but the the retail price is actually cheaper at Hobby Lobby. And then little you know inside, if you use their weekly coupon, you get forty percent off. So it makes it relatively cheap. It goes a long way. And so if you haven't watched the other video about putting shellac on the item, you can do that. And it just sands off. It did not go into the grains of the wood and it was not affected by this oil. So I think it worked out great and, and I'm looking forward to use it in the future with other colors. Hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.